You've got an Android phone and you want to record the screen. Well, you're a lucky chap or chap ass. All you need to do is download an app and you can do it. What do you do if you've got an iPhone or an iPad and you want to record the screen? Well, I'm about to show you. So if you've got an Android phone or an Android tablet and you use it, say, for example, I do with Dronin, um, you just download something, I use something called AZ Screen Recorder um, and that just allows me to record everything I do and then if I'm using this with my drone as a screen then I can record everything that um, is displayed in the DJI Go app uh, which allows me to see telemetry and flight information and things like that and I can put it with a video I'm doing so I can show people what I was doing at the time. Now the problem is that if you're using an iPhone or an iPad there's no real way of doing that, especially not without jailbreaking um, the device. Or I've seen some people take a laptop with them and then stream the contents of this to the laptop, but then they have to have a router with them as well. So uh, the router is a, a Wi-Fi hotspot. So the laptop and the device, the iPhone or iPad, connects to the Wi-Fi hotspot. They can then see each other and then you then stream across. So, I mean, as well as carrying all your gear, you've then got to carry a router, a battery pack for the router and a computer with you to do all that. Well, I'm about to show you how easy it is with just an app that you install on your iPad and iPhone, uh, very specifically in this instance, to record what your DJI product, whether it be um, an Osmo Mobile um, or Osmo or basically a drone Phantom or Mavic or Inspire or anything like that. So let's get right to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go into um, Safari on your iPad or iPhone and you want to go to a website the address is emu number four ios.net um, and you're choosing the Airshow app. Once you've got that, you click on Get, and that will install it. So I click Install, and then in the background, it starts to install it. Come out of Safari and just go to your available screen now, where you can see all your apps being installed to. And you'll see it's installed in there. And then when it's finished, it says Airshow. First time you try and install it, it's going to come up with this thing that says Untrusted Enterprise Developer. And this is basically because Apple don't want this to happen. So what they've um, done is block you installing any apps that don't come through their app store. Um, so there's a way around this. Now, none of this is uh, bad. It's not like a virus or anything like that's gonna take over your system. Um, it's basically just a secondary way to install things um, on, on an iPad or an iPhone. So you wanna go into your settings and then you want to find the general tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and the menu you're looking for is profiles and device management. You hit that and then you want to go underneath the enterprise app um, and the app will be up there. Now basically what Apple are doing is periodically they're blocking um, the, the installation of these things. So when you install yours, it might have a different menu than you see on the screen at the moment. So you tap it and then you click on trust. You click trust again and then it says that Airshow is verified and that's it done then. So you've installed the app and you've verified it. So you can go back to the screen where your app is, click on your app and now you can go in. Obviously allow it to give you notifications and um, also click on yes. You don't have to follow it on Twitter, ignore that one. Um, and then you can look at the record options. The top bit is showing you the date and time of the recording, so what the file name is going to be. The orientation is basically how you want it to record in. So for example, for the specific example I'm going to show, um, it's going to be that I'll place the button on the right hand side and I'll do it in landscape so that when I'm using it in the DJI app, um, everything looks better in landscape then. And then resolution, obviously choose whatever resolution you want really. Click on next step. Now the very first time it's going to ask you to do this, it's just going to say, please give me access to the microphone because it will record from the microphone as well as capturing the screen. Roll up from the bottom of the screen. You click on AirPlay mirroring. So the Airshow app now has made your phone an AirPlay mirroring option. So for example, on this one, it says Airshow and then Joby phone. So my phone's called Joby phone. So you select Airshow, Joby phone, 
look in the background and immediately it starts to say recording and that's it done now so now the app Airshout is recording everything on the screen of your iPhone or iPad so any apps you go into so for example we can go into the DJ app and anything that happens now whether you connect your Osmo whether you connect your um, Phantom or Inspire or um, whether you connect your Mavic it's all going to be recorded everything you do now on your phone is going to be recorded in a movie file now obviously the next thing you want to do is you want to get your recording you, you want to view it and then download it so uh, if you hit the little box at the top right hand corner that shows you your recordings and then obviously you can play it save it to camera or you can open it in a different app um, or you can delete it on the left hand side is the uh, iphone 6s screen and on the right hand side the galaxy tab s2 android screen for me it still looks like the android screens a bit easier to read uh, the information's laid out a little bit better where it's all a bit more squished up on the iphone app so thanks for watching the video i hope you found it useful and uh, please share it via social media or anybody else that you think might be interested in this Obviously the recording of your screen isn't just for using it for drones, it could be absolutely anything. For example, you want to try and show somebody what you're doing on your phone and you can therefore make a little video out of it so that you can then send them the video and they can see what you're trying to do. Um, in my instance, this has worked out quite well recently by showing um, a parent about an app that did something and she was interested in it so I basically recorded it on my phone and then I sent it to my mom and she was able to understand then what I was talking about because over the phone it wasn't working so well. So little things like that if you want to produce um, demo um, material from your iPhone and you don't want to go through all this pairing up with a computer and all that kind of stuff if you just want to do it straight from your phone and then send a video straight from your phone via WhatsApp or Messenger or email showing people what you mean about a demo maybe it's an app you're developing or something like that or how a website's going to look on a particular mobile device so unlimited kind of um, reasons why you might want to do this and why other people might want to do it as well so please make sure you do share it with anybody you think um, might be interested in doing this on an ios device or an ipad or an iphone and um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it click on the subscribe button for more videos like this and uh, above all else, take care. See you again. Bye.